I've done a lot of HyperX reviews lately, but it seems I've saved the best for last. Good afternoon, morning and welcome to Turbo Tortoise Tech. If you're new here, I'm Reese of the 4-piece warranty, the Walkie Triple XL. And the HyperX Audio Mixer is legitimately, pretty much, the best value for money product that HyperX now makes. Because this has so many inputs and such a straightforward way of doing it that it's just kind of brilliant. They've basically taken a miniature sound desk and made it completely USB powered with phantom power for any sort of XLR microphone input, but then included two other inputs that they've labeled mic and audio in, but they could variably be anything with a 3.5 mm jack, and then two outputs for monitoring. So you don't have to then have a headphone splitter to then monitor directly from this. You can do it on two of the other 3.5 mm outputs. Anyway, Let's first start off with what's in the box. Well, you obviously get an audio mixer, you get a really nice braided XLR cable, you get a braided type C to type A cable as well, and then a 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter headphone jack cable. You also get a couple of nice little manuals to help you quick start guard and get it set up, and the default warranty cards, etc. And the included cables, like I said, are incredibly nicely finished. They are all braided, have very good garrets on them. The braided XLR is really nice and beefy and then you've got that USB A to type C connection over there which is like I said the only cable you really need to then connect all of the functionality that this thing has up directly to your PC. So the deck itself like I said it has a couple of extra inputs and outputs built into it. So if we take a look at that first around the back it'll make it clear and how it's going to function. So you've got the XLR on the far end over there. You've got two other inputs, one for mic specifically, like I say, it doesn't have to probably be a mic, and then another 3.5 line in, and then two line outs. And each of those connections, all five of them, have their own mute button and volume sliders. So the inputs are handled with the volume sliders that you see that are vertical over there, and then your rotating sliders or your rotating volume knobs over there have their own mute functions inside of them as well so you can quickly on the fly mute at any point whatever you want to mute at any point instantly at the touch of a button you don't have to do any software which i kind of like the overall finish and polish on the face is absolutely exceptional and then it's got a vu meter built into it over here on the glossy panel so you can see that active input working or not working before it then goes into the machine. So you've got a physical readout for it, which is really nice to have. It's always nice when you're troubleshooting something, if it's got a physical type of connection over there that is bouncing up and down, that you can then obviously use to see, hey, is my input working or not? All of this is software free. There's absolutely no software required. It's literally as plug and play as you could possibly want to have it. And unlike a lot of the competing products that only have XLR for one, one uh, uh, input this obviously has multiple inputs and then multiple outputs so this can be used as a mini studio kind of desk or mini multi-input desk if you would want to for instance have multiple wireless microphone sets like for instance the ceremonic has a two into one a lot of there's a lot of uh, uh, other road and that sort of stuff pod marks that you could use or wireless lapel marks that you then could use you could put two different inputs into this and then manage each of them individually mute and unmute them you've got a miniature sound studio here in one product and all of this for the low low price of three triple nine that's what kind of blows my mind most of the competitors are either more expensive with less or slightly cheaper with a lot less functionality and inputs in this there's also a clip and signal guard over here on the bottom left hand side so you can then once again just see what's happening before it even goes out to stream or you can react to it directly from being able to obviously see this before while it's going out to stream etc or into your recording i love that there's multiple inputs because now you can put all of your instruments as well if those have their own little amps or converters then you can just connect them in here balance them actively with the v 
you into this, built into this, and then output from there. So for a demo, I have used the Audio Technica MB1K, which I have over here, which I've borrowed from a mate of mine, and I have done a full stream of this to our Turbo Tortoise Tech YouTube. So I will include that in the link down below so you can hear it actively doing its thing. But that it's going to be limited somewhat by this microphone setup over here. But so just take that kind of with a pinch of salt. It's not the desk. The limiting factor is definitely the microphone. The fact that it's got a phantom power button on the top left over here as well means that whatever XLR you want to put in, you're going to be safe. And then you just create VSTs in OBS itself rather than have it in its own software and then into OBS. This is just direct in. So then you can manage it with VSTs for everything that's all coming in and out of this deck, which is absolutely sick. And before I forget, the bottom is also rubberized, so it's not going to slip around and mess around on your desk. But it just the, the way that these things feel and function, they are absolutely incredible. Like the build quality on this is 12 out of 10, if not 13 out of 10. The product itself, it's 11 out of 10. There's nothing that you're left wanting for over here. Yeah, it would be nice if it had some software that could do its own VSTs. We do it in OBS anyway, and in most of our audio applications, that's how we're gonna be doing it. If you're really fussed about that, just put it through voice meter banana or something to that effect, and then you can layer VSTs and stuff on top of it. But we can do all of that in OBS. But the fact that I can have three inputs going into one point with two outputs for monitoring as well, this is literally set up for doing podcasts and for doing music recording and instrument recording. It's practically perfect. And at the price point of 3999, I just don't see anything in the market that's competitive where it comes to inputs and flexibility. So HyperX, I'm giving you our first 11 out of 10. There's nothing you can do to improve this at this price point. And from someone who's as nitpicky as me, I'd, I'd like to think that that carries some weight. This thing is absolutely incredible. I've kind of fallen in love with it. Good job. Now this is just, um, everybody that asks me, how do I XLR mic into PC? This is the way to do it. One USB, and you get five, three, or three inputs, two outputs. From the one USB, he basically made a major Yamaha sound desk and made it as good quality and then cheaper somehow with witchcraft. I don't know how you've done this, but it's flipping incredible. Good job. 11 out of 10. That's all I have for you on the HyperX audio mixer. It's just a brilliantly, very, very cleverly thought out product. Anywho, that's all I have for you. If you have enjoyed this, please hit us up with a like and subscribe, and I will see you on the flip side. Oh,